Hi Gemini, welcome here with the guided message. All right, let's take a look. Message for you for this week. Am I on the right path? So sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we even, okay, if we are even in the right path at all. Know that you're on the right path, keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you make a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. So today's soul action, today's search for all the ways you're aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear, let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. You need to trust because the problem with you, Gemini, sometimes you do have a lot of trust issues. Okay, you just need to gamble, take the risk. And you know, the thing here is you are distrusting the wrong people and trusting the wrong people as well. You know, you trust the people that cannot be trusted and you distrust the people that can be trusted. All right. All right, so bottom of the deck is, ooh, Knight of Pentacles. All right, you know what to do. But the problem here is you're also hearing some other voices. You're listening to some other, you know, could be messages that are not supposed to be heard of. You do have some, you know, some other spirits or some other voices that, um, that's been tempting you to do things, you know, that are, you're not supposed to be doing. So now you're caught in a ruin, so you're caught in a situation where you feel like it's kind of irreversible. So, and you thought that you're being surrounded by, you know, trustworthy people or people that are, you know, like that can be, um, that have your back or something like that. But unfortunately, these people are only there to spy you, to, sorry, to spy on you, to look what you're up to, to see if they can, you know, to see if, um, it's possible if they can do something to block you, delay you, sabotage you, all right? But still, you know, you prove to them that you are the empress. You prove to them that you are flourishing and gaining, achieving and being successful. And even no matter how high or far your dreams are right now, you are able to reach it out, okay? Just stop looking at some other people's lives or plate or cups. Just be happy with whatever you have. Okay, that's the key to happiness and contentment. And you will soon find your place, your place of glory, your calling, where you will be flourishing, what you should be doing next, you know, what you should be um, sticking around into or investing yourself into. All right. And it seems like you will also be having that family healing, family issues. All right, there will also be some family healing. And some of you are also moving again. If some of you have already moved, you're going to be moving again. And I know it's going to be really costly, you know, especially if you, you know, you're going to say, oh, I just bought my house. We just moved in. Uh, we haven't even unpacked and now I'm about to move again. You know, what the heck? So... If you're being guided to do this, then why not, right? So the thing here is, you need to forgive those that have done wrong to you. Because, you know, the grudges, it is something that's been like adding up weight in your shoulder. But that doesn't mean that you still have to rebuild the bridges again. Just let it go. Now, of course, family will always be family. But sometimes, family usually is the root cause of our demise, okay? I mean, to some. So, you're going to be much more happier to the next place where you're going to be in. 
if you just recently bought your house and you don't want to leave your current place right now or you believe that that is the place for you then fine you know that it, then it's already up to you but later on i feel like that you will still have those signs you know maybe within the next six months to a year and you're gonna say oh i should have just moved i should have just done this i should have just you know did that because maybe i won't be having this maybe i won't be having that so i feel like there is something that you're still very much conflicted some of you you're working under a contractual project or you're you're in a temporary position but the thing here is there is something more that's going to be coming your way that will be much more feasible um more permanent and higher paying so let's take a look what is it you're limiting yourself because you know like what i said this is in your mindset you're gonna say oh i just moved i just you know i just uh bought my house i just signed up my lease i just took a loan I mean, I mean, it's up to you, okay? It's up to you, like what I said. You want to stick around with that place? Wait for six months, a year, and wait for like a lot of loss to incur? It's up to you. So, if you would just be opening up your mind and opening up your eyes into something that is far better than what you have right now, and I know that there will be some losses, there will be some, you know, probably loss of money, loss of investment, and you don't even know what to do with the contract that you're into right now. I'm pretty sure that there is something that you're going to find a way or there will be a solution to a current situation, okay? So, just be careful, all right? Because, you know, this contract of yours that you are, you know, that you're saying that has been binding you and that's been um, also pulling you down or holding you back, this might be the reason why there might be a need for recalculations later on. Okay, so just be very careful. Now, you will be traveling to a newer place. I feel like you need to get out of that city, country, probably city, okay? But some of you, you have to, go to move out of the country. And this is where you're going to have this brand new beginnings. Okay? Um... Yeah, there are some people that will try to catch up on you, especially this person from the past. There's this earth sign that I feel like that still, you know, that is using something. Either it could be this is a part of a cult or a spells or I could be paying somebody to do a spell work on you. This person is a liar. What does this earth sign want from you? This person couldn't accept the fact that you said no to them or that there's like a rejection probably. So what they did is that they are giving you some illusions, probably giving you some love spells in the air for you to keep on thinking about them, for you, you know, for their probably for them to haunt you even in your dreams. Even when you drink coffee, it's their image that you keep on seeing. It's their voice. So expect that this person will be getting back in touch with you again. Okay, this is not yet over. If you feel like this person, you've already you like pushed this person away. No, this is not going to be over until probably for the next six months. All right. So... As the wheels will keep on turning, not unless that you're going to be moving far away as you can. This person also have ways of tracking you down. All right. This could be for somebody specific. This could be for somebody that is also going through out there. That is, you know, you don't have to be like Gemini sun sign. You could be any other sign, but you, you, you can relate to Gemini readings. All right. Somebody got a fatal attraction to you. I don't feel like this is all about love. This is all about winning. All right, frog prosperity. Let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. 
Happy to this new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune await you. And unicorn. Hmm. Infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be asking, where am I going to be moving? I just moved. I just bought my house. I just did this. I just started working on this so, so a company. It doesn't necessarily have to be like it, it needs to happen now. But it could be for the next few months. Okay? Be confident that you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. And let yourself fly. All right. Commit to happiness. You're trying to find your happiness, but you feel like it is the misery and darkness that keeps on following you. Flow. Just go with the flow for now. Everything happens for a reason. And progress. There will be progress and development that you can see and notice in the situation. So if you want to talk to me live on the phone, live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website, sfeangel.net. You may also join me at my Patreon, which you can find the link down there below. Blessings to you.